Damn it. Uh, Dry Canyon Wall Glide is not something that I think humans can do. Okay, I'll do this resetless. Just for the 13 113, I'll do this resetless. Just for you, Claxi, I won't reset any of the next hundred runs. <laughs> Just to keep those numbers pretty. <laughs> 113th day of the 13th month? Yeah, that's a good one. Hey, Tide Gold, let's go. Again, <laughs> I did that earlier. <laughs> Trying to cut that too short. Okay, I can live with that. I seem to remember this cycle being okay. Not the best, but decent. Yeah, because it's that right through there and hop up here. Yep, I can take that. on that one further, because I can bounce from that guy to the plant easily.
I also need to watch Grease again sometime. I think I've only seen it once. It's fine, I don't need that mask. It's gonna happen. This is 13. I, I swear, this is gonna be resetless. I don't care what happens. I, I'm i close to wanting to be done anyway, so I'm just gonna finish this for the sake of finishing a run, no matter what happens. I don't know what that was. I, I wasn't thinking. I, I have no excuse. <laughs> good one, Amiibe. All of these are. This game has such a good soundtrack. Shouldn't have gotten a jump there, but whatever. Hey, those fires are active. I never knew. I'm gonna play that hit safe then, since I can't afford an extra hit. We dodged him. Let's go.
Hey, how do you guys think this run's gonna go, since it is gonna be resetless? Do you think it's gonna be a good one? Do you think it's gonna be a bad one? Should we start a channel points prediction, actually? This would be, this would be a good time to. Channel points prediction for if I sub 130. Hey, yellow. Sub 120 is my goal. My run in the marathon was a 128. I had a, uh, slash prediction. My estimate for the marathon was sub 130. And, uh, the day before the marathon, I did a practice run, and it was just over 130. So I, I think 130 is a good over-under. Bill Zando, sub 130. I put maybe like 10 minutes on it or something. I wasn't sure about that, but I'm going now. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, I'm gonna guess golf for getting that started. What did the choices say? I can't see them. I say at a point when I can't read chat. <laughs> fatigue. Yeah, those are good choices. Good call, good call. It's fine, I'll be able to resolve it at the end. <clears throat> or Eliza can. Good mod. skip the mask. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't want it. I'm playing wild and bold. We're going nuts. Who knows what's gonna happen in Crash Bandicoot. Only God. And God laughs at our plans that we make around Crash Bandicoot. That's right, folks. You heard it here first on twitch.tv slash Toaster. There is a fact, a god, that god's only role is to laugh when we make plans in Crash Bandicoot. God was very bored for the first few hundred billion years of the universe's existence. But 
then Crash Bandicoot was made, and God was like, ho ho, it's my time to shine. God, where's Sarah? She needs she needs to be here to appreciate this universe defining lore I'm setting. made by Muzz. Yeah, it'll do that, and then you say start prediction, and it'll let you make a new one. It's weird. I don't like the interface for making a prediction. I don't think it's very good. Also, that's a gold. Let's go. Ripper Brew. Very nice. Really, is no one even gonna put in, like, 10 points in no? Just to win 5,000 points from golf when I choke and fumbling in the dark for 15 minutes? Thank you, Klaxi. Icarus. I fell off some platforms in Crash Bandicoot. Remember that famous old Greek story when Icarus is playing Crash Bandicoot and in the level Lost City falls off some platforms? Classic Greek mythology. That was the cycle I wanted. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait. Gonna play it slow and wait. So I'm losing like 20 seconds to my best seg here, but that's fine. That's honestly like half expected at this point. This level is hard to keep up with my bests. <laughs> Eliza, I'm sorry. I have to remain impartial. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Also, this is the farthest we've gotten tonight. Let's go. Well, farthest we've gotten. 
Uh, uh, farthest we've gotten in stream tonight. I did get a run further than this in practice earlier. But farthest we've gotten on stream. Let's go. Throw it for a dollar? No. Minimum hundred dollars for me to throw this run. Wait. Wait on that one. I don't need to wait on that one. I Taking that could have saved time, but I just don't want to mess with that right now. <sighs> oh, wait in here, wait in here. <laughs> oh. Sandot Corruption Toast. Uh, this one I can take. Waiting. Okay. Yeah, I died to that once, and I'm still taking the damage abuse there, but I assume I know which fire you're talking about. Uh, I'm just playing that platform safer. I wait a moment on that platform before jumping off of it. That's my play. I should have taken that mask. I sometimes die to the first hog in this level. I should have taken that mask. I guess it's not a huge deal since I do get that checkpoint anyway, but yeah, right there. Sometimes I just... I don't know, I still don't really have a plan for that hog. I don't know. Okay, okay. in the dark below? Yeah, sounds about right. God, I'm in that, that weird place with this game where I have a specific goal in mind that I want to hit, and I know that any of my runs could hit that goal, so my instincts are just like, oh, well then just grind until you get it. But also, I know I can improve a lot. Like, I could practice Island 2 and Island 3, as much as I've done Island 1, and have much better chances of hitting that goal. But that practice will definitely take a long time. And in my brain, my brain keeps thinking like, yeah, but if you just keep doing runs, it might be like a day, and then you hit your goal. As opposed to weeks of practice before hitting your goal, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Speed running is weird.
playing with FPS on PS2? Well, yeah. I could do that. <laughs> I'm not surprised it's not an actual Twain saying. I wonder if Mark Twain is the person most often misattributed with quotes. It's gotta be like Hammer Churchill, I think. Maybe, um... The other guy, Oscar Wilde. Hey, Reggie. cycle? Amazing. I don't know if I did. I have no idea. <laughs> I feel like I usually have to wait at the bottom there, but I don't know. Nice. Very nice. Wait on the bats. Wait on the fire. I didn't need to wait on the fire, I could have just jumped up. I wouldn't have. I would have caught the same cycle anyway, it doesn't matter. there a bunch of times trying to go faster. I'm gonna wait here. I'm just gonna, yeah, wait again. Crud. <laughs> oh well. I also saw Luka Demis take triple mask here, but I can't... I can't imagine that's fast. I don't know. Maybe it lets you catch an earlier cycle or something and I didn't realize it. I only watched that run once. Hey, Thrasher. Nope, go down. There you go. We're doing okay. This is the furthest run I've gotten today. Uh, mostly because I decided to do a reset list. After this level, I should be on fat PB pace, uh, because most of the time lost in my PB was before this. But no guarantee that will stay, since we are only... Like, we're not even halfway through the run. Yeah, that's that's how PB pace is looking. Uh, 
And then again, even more because I lost time in Sunset and PB. But that's not what matters. Also, I got Cortex Power Skip in PB, and that's that's not a guarantee. Come on, come on. Koala Kong, come on. Oh, you suck. <clears throat> yeah, there's a gem path in Cortex Power that you don't need the gem for. But it's mildly hard to skip the gem. Sorry, Eliza, I'll try. I don't know what's where I said. I didn't even notice. I'm so sorry. Ah. Seriously, am I getting worst Koala Kong RNG? That's, well, I mean, I guess it could have been worse. I could have had other, uh, other, um, minecarts in the way. Hey, Aqua. Cortex power skip skip. Uh, this level can also be a problem, so we'll see what happens. Oh, heck. Okay, well I kept one mask at least, that's good. Seriously? Oh my god. Jump over that. Try to jump around this, but haha, -ha, good luck. I should have played that safer, honestly. I should have just waited on that one. I don't like being maskless right here. I might agree with that, Klaxi. At the very least, this is my favorite song in the game. Absolutely. It's it's up there for favorite levels, as hard and stressful as it is for me. I like both, uh... Oh my goodness. Okay. Come on now. Uh, this and... Castle Machinery, I, I like both of them. usually get the the spins like that. Sorry, Ragey. <laughs> I mean, I don't usually get them too bad. I usually miss, like, one or two, but, uh, yeah, getting that, like, four in a row at the end feels real nice. Okay, now for the hard part.
we're getting to the hard part. We're getting there. Oh, let's go. Uh, that's part two. Now for part three, the box bridge that I've been failing lately. Okay, good. I failed that multiple times in the last couple weeks. Which has been silly. I mean, yeah, every level on Island 3 is hard, but that one skip alone would make or break sub-120. Yeah, we got it. So now we just need to not fuck up. Uh, I play on PS1 console. Alex Sartamoni? If I'm reading your name right, Alec? mistake lately. I feel silly when I let that happen. There we go. I'm very dumb. Okay, there we go. Most people didn't even know FDS was an option. I know I didn't as a kid. I didn't know FDS was a thing until I started speedrunning. Oh my god. Generator room, please. You're not a hard level. Stop pretending to be. for the very appropriate boot toaster. Accurate. PS2 Famicom disk system? Heck yeah. Lost a big chunk of time, but we're okay. That hurt, but sub 120 isn't dead, and more importantly, sub 130 isn't dead, and that's what the prediction was about. Still two minutes ahead of PB, almost. And yeah, Thrasher, honestly, I thought the same thing at first. 
it is nice to know I'm not the only one. <laughs> Timers, how about those? Rats. Oh, God, that, that's a jump that I thought I could make. That's sad, big sad. Probably be making that first jump fairly easily too, actually. This one I, I don't trust at all. I, I'm not doing that. I'm going for this again. I know I can make that jump. It's not a hard one. Right, I don't need that one. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. Eh. 
that that might have killed sub two, sub one twenty. I mean, not not quite, but uh, we're now at the point where small mistakes really matter. <laughs> you know, for most of this run, I can lose five or six or ten seconds on a level, and it doesn't really make a difference. At this point, it kind of does now. <laughs> Also get ready to lose like another 30 seconds here. I die at the start of this level pretty often. Like that. Like that exactly actually, I fall out of that window without jumping all the time. Uh, why? Why? Come on now. There we go. But that's fine, because the channel point prediction was not Will Toaster PB or Will Toaster Sub 120, it was Will Toaster Sub 130, and that's still very much in the cards. Nice. Very nice. I believe it said sub 130, so if I 130, it's gonna be a, uh, no, toaster, not sub 130. It's too bad I died at the start. I'm playing the rest of this pretty well. Really? Oh, come on. Exactly, golf's got it. Yeah, the 1545 ended today. Uh, Orange team won, but it was close. Orange team won, and then like 40 seconds later, I think purple team finished. And then, like two or three minutes later, my team, green team, finished. Yes, yeah, so it's close because of Chipotle. It is very easy for this game to snowball, that's true. Time loss comes in large amounts in Crash 1. Or it can, anyway. Obviously not all the time, but frequently. You know what? Not the worst. Not the worst. Uh, the other goal, by the way, is any PB at all, because Nitroff PB beat me by one second, and I'd kind of like to beat him back. So if I can 122.14, I think it is? 122.13, I can beat Nitroff by a second. Okay, Cole. Have a good night. now failing to catch these cycles because I don't trust my scenery jumps here. Yeah, the only reason I'm staying up this late is uh, I, I took tomorrow and Monday off. Or tomorrow and Tuesday off. <laughs> tomorrow and Monday. Maybe the 1545 fatigue is hitting me. Night golf sounds fun. Also difficult to keep track of the ball. What have I got? 
Oh, yeah, you would. In that case, yeah, night golf sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, I shouldn't have... whatever. I should really be damaging through this fire, but I don't know what to do if I do, so I'm still not. Again, I really need to just practice Island 3 at some point. I never have. Except for a couple of levels here and there. Oh, that's my dishwasher finishing. Played its little jingle, that's nice. I don't know if you guys could hear that. I'm glad. I'm glad you can hear my dishwasher. I see chat moving, and I want to look at it, but I know that if I do, I'm just going to fall to my death because I'm not lo looking at the game. Gotta pay attention to the game first. God, I didn't mean to spin again. Oh my god, that scared me so much! Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. Oh my god! <laughs> just started pounding. Nearly burned myself on that fire and was not prepared for that. Just gonna wait. Honestly, that's something I kind of love about Crash 1. It's just, any minor mistake can just completely destroy you. Uh, Gulf, if you die after hitting a checkpoint, it respawns all of the boxes in the level. Which is why if you die after hitting a checkpoint, you need to restart the level and just go all the way back. This is not true in Crash 2 and 3, that's only a Crash 1 thing. Nice. Real nice. That's fine. I got rid of that mask that was chasing me. That's the point in Crash 1. You want to get rid of that horrible mask that keeps following you around. But sadly, oh no, it got stronger. It's following me again. Oh god. <laughs> Clip. 
Kalf, go to bed. I promise you nothing interesting is gonna happen. I'm just gonna get, like, a two-minute PB, get a 119.59, play within three seconds of my gold for the rest of the run. It'll be boring. Waiting, just waiting on that steam. No, please. Okay, there we go. Let's just jump over that. Let's just cry for a while because of this bridge. Good. That bridge has been scaring me again lately, ever since I fell through a couple of the boxes without bouncing for no goddamn reason. Just fell right through it. Nothing I could do. Good video game. I need to figure out how to get on the sides of those vents so I don't need to wait on them. That'd be a nice thing to learn when I someday practice Island 3. that album I was listening to ended. Boxes aren't against the wall. Maybe that's why I fell through them. <laughs> I have been more consciously, uh, like, staying just a little away from the wall since then, but I, I didn't know what actually caused that. That's just been kind of a guess. So it's good to know my instincts were right. I've been messing this fight up a lot lately too. I'm really bad at hitting the slimes for some reason. Which causes extra cycles on the bottles, so... Probably losing like, what is it, two or three seconds already? Ah <clears throat> uh, yeah, Thrasher. It's really funny, actually, you, uh, it's at, like, you know, 25% or whatever, and then you get the last gem, and it's like, ta-da, 100%, you did it! things about this game casually, but I think the speedrun's a lot of fun. I've been I've been having a lot of fun playing this. I hate myself, but I've been having a lot of fun playing this game. Well that's the 120 for sure. <laughs> in the lab that I find weird and still play slow, but for the most part I don't really have much of an issue with it. Once I started getting comfortable spinning through the electric fences, uh, I don't know, I just didn't think it was that bad. But again, a lot of good players are scared of it, I know, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend that I'm really good or something, there's probably just something I'm missing. So that's gonna close again. That 
should be good. I don't think I need to wait at all there. I think I'm good to just go into the exit, but I always get a little nervous. It is the last level before Cortex, that's fine. That's, that's true. But yeah, I remember um, watching Lucas Rano surprised the lab in particular. That was like the one level that I looked at thinking the whole time like, wait, I can do this faster than he did. What's up with this? But it was just because he was on a great pace and really didn't want to throw it in that level. Oh yeah, the bottom for Sunset is really, really rough. That's another section that, honestly, I just haven't really practiced outside of the runs that have gotten there. I just, I just play it slow and hope for the best. And I jumped so early for that platform, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm gonna wait. on that one. Spin that. Could have gone between the saws there. Didn't really need to wait there. Bouncy spider. And I think we're right about at the end now, right? Isn't it just uh, another train of spiders here and then we're there? Yeah, let's go. Not bad, not bad. And yeah, Sunset Vista I think is far and away the hardest level starting out. It's really frustrating in Jaws of Darkness remembering to not spin that snake that will blow up the Cortex token, but in terms of just sheer difficulty of the whole level, I think Sunset Vista is the hardest one when you're starting out. Slippery Climb, I guess, is up there, too. Slippery Climb felt really hard at the start as well. And honestly, actually, uh, both of the bridge levels, if you're not zigzagging, are hard. They are just straight up hard. <laughs> a lot of those jumps are very tight if you're not zigzagging, and if you are, they are absolutely free. The uh, moving platform is right after that checkpoint. I forget there's another little bit there. And I mean, Sunset, again, so much of the difficulty is just how long that level is. Uh, that... I think that was Fumbling in the Dark. I think that was the other level. The not this dark level, the one I did just before. This. I think that was a section of Fumbling in the Dark. That clip uh, might, the clip of that, might end up in the 1545 highlight reel whenever that gets around to being made. It sounds like Rob wants to include basically every clip that people shared. Okay, now back to the, the backtrack proper.
we do upstream, and then we all have a good laugh when I screw up and accidentally enter Papu Papu again. And then we do uh, Rolling Stones, and then we have another good laugh when I accidentally enter Hog Wild again. And then we do Native Fortress, and then we're done with Island 1. never comfortable. I don't trust them. I didn't mean to slide forward when I spun. But that's fine. We're fine. And we're moving. We're moving. We're on the gem pad. Let's go. Upstream skip, not to necessarily go foreign runs, but just to know it. It felt really nice getting Cortex Power Skip for the first time. I imagine it will also feel really nice getting Upstream Skip even just once in practice. Hey, look at that. We're so close to 115xx, some of best. Hey, didn't enter Papu Papu, let's go. Still on BB base, let's go. Nice. Shoutouts to this level. Shoutouts to Triple Mask. I don't know why I tried still zigzagging there. I know I'm not supposed to. Spin this mask away when it comes up. Because I don't want triple mask again. That first triple mask I don't mind too much, because I am not great at dealing with that group of TNTs. But, uh, yeah, the second one. The second one I want to avoid, for sure. The second one makes me actively uncomfy. Thank you, Alec. Like an insanely cool thank you, Amoeb. <laughs> good call, good call. Not a great Rolling Stones, but good enough. Okay, and then Native Fortress. And Native Fortress, I think, is the backtrack level I worry about the most. I struggle with this one a lot. All the time. All the time. This is a hard level. Just back to front, this is a hard level. Nice. Good pop. Ooh, hey now. And I'm getting spin timered. Yep. Good enough. And sure, why not? Thank you. 
surprised that worked out that way. Oh crap, I'm getting spin timered again now? That's terrible. Okay, okay. cycle is, but sure. Good gem platforms. Not platforms, what am I trying to say? Good gem cycle, I guess? You know how the gems float? Uh, you can jump from the... Uh... Crap. You can jump from the second highest gem onto the, uh, the box if you're jumping at the peak of that gem's float. Or at about the peak, anyway. I'm sure it doesn't have to be perfect, but I caught it at a good place, is my point. Just wait. No. <laughs> good enough, good enough. I appreciate hearing that, Thrasher. I definitely have times when I'll have a major setback and it will just really upset me for a while. Um, but I, I try not to let that happen, because that's just... Oh, hey, that was a gold! <laughs> It's a gold, because I have not finished very many runs on these splits. Hey, Muzz. Just in time. But yeah, honestly, Thrasher, that's a big part of the reason why I don't grind very many games. I, I tend to... Oh shit! 115 some of best! Let's go! Thank you for pointing that out. I, I didn't even catch that. Anyway, yeah, when I'm... Uh... When I'm grinding games, I'm much more likely to just get really upset at... Uh at setbacks, which is a big part of the reason why I don't seriously run Vortex anymore. I was getting pretty frustrated with that back when I was. Which is why when I run it now, I just joke and goof and do hour-plus long runs with no expectation to PB. I didn't lose a mask. I, I really expected to lose one or both masks doing that. Doesn't really matter, it's just funny. Yes, Muzz, of course I did. I gotta be fast. I'm actually doing this run in a jet plane, hoping that, uh, that I'll bend space-time enough to go faster. <laughs> Another goal! Also, I like that my splits are 100% serious, I have no jokes on these, except for that I named this level Hogwild 2. <laughs>
every time I get late in the run, that always makes me laugh. Also, Muzz, uh, I was doing a bunch of resets earlier, and then I stopped because I think it was Zachary Lawrence pointed out that if I finish this run, my attempt counter will say uh, 13 out of 113. I made that same mistake, that same death in the 1545, and I feel really dumb for doing it again. <laughs> Because that one is 100% in my control. I just, I just forget which way to go. Are my arms? <laughs> I, I wasn't doing the fitness challenge during stream. I decided I'll only do that for offline grinding. Yay! Beefed a bunch of time, but still on PB pace. Here I can do us all a favor and actually compare to PB for the rest of the run. Again, I just need to PB by two seconds to beat Nightroth. Yeah, all the time that I've been saying whether or not I'm on PB pace, I was just looking at the, the best possible time at the bottom. Why do I have, like, a minute time save here? What? Wait. Oh, you know what? I... No, wait, why? What? Did I die here in PB? Did I, like, accidentally re-enter? I might have entered a level uh, before Great Hall. That might be where I lost a bunch of time. Hey, Flood Nozzle, thank you for the raid. Assuming I don't beef this level, we're about to PB. Really surprised I went for the TNT that way. I don't normally do that. I usually play that much safer, because it's really easy to die on that TNT and you lose a bunch of time. <laughs> I had a nice heart attack moment in Jaws of Darkness in this run. Um, on the last Cortex token, I broke the four boxes and then accidentally did a second spin. And through sheer luck, it did not spin away the other Cortex token. <laughs> and I got to keep it and, uh, and keep moving, but oh, that terrified me. <laughs> Yeah, I know, Klaxi. I I figured that out a while ago. I just haven't gotten around to changing my splits, and if I'm not changing my splits, then <laughs> I'm not gonna change the level order. I, I know I should do that. I really should do that. For exactly that reason. That TNT scares me every run I get here. Yeah. So yeah, now we just need to not fail in Great Hall for like a minute. What if I just went and fought Cortex instead right now? <laughs> just said, screw it. I'm doing something else, man. Solid any percent time. Absolutely. Ha! PB! Let's go! 121-21! 
It's not sub 120, but it's good. It's good. That's a good question, Reiji. <laughs> Who of the Crash villains has the artistry in their blood enough to make tapestries of all of the characters? Because it's not just Tana. There's also the Pinstripe and Cortex portraits in Pinstripe's office. Hey, Jack. Thank you. Thank you for the easy. It's probably Ripper Roo, honestly, yeah. Glued, thank you, thank you. Also, everybody, thank you for the GGs. Shoutouts to... I think it was Zachary Lawrence who wanted me to do a reset list. Did I move up any spots, Muzz? I can check myself, never mind. I can and want to check myself. Oh, right, I beat Nitroff, duh. Yes. Went up one spot. Thank you for finishing that prediction. Whoever did that, I imagine Eliza, since you were the one saying you'd do it earlier. <sighs> well, that feels good. <laughs> Your 10 channel points on now. Heart sheep. Just gonna take a screenshot of these splits real quick. I did go with Great Hall, didn't I? Yeah, there is. It's so crazy that it's, what, like, five minutes between fourth and fifth or something? It's funny. It's just funny. People go for goals that require certain levels of dedication, and then, uh, and then just stop after they hit it. That happens pretty often, I suppose. <sighs> like in Spyro 120%, there's a glut of people with just under hour 30. <sighs> I'm really happy I PB'd. <laughs> It feels so nice to hear that. A glut of people with 22s and Vortex. 